Hello YouTube, how's things? Okay, so there's some news today about Comet Elinin, okay, and I'm just looking at an article in the um, Space Orbs, sorry, space spaceorbs.org, okay, um, and the article is written by the discoverer of Comet Elinin himself, Leonard Elinin, okay. And um, it's basically that the coma of the comet is 200,000 miles, sorry, I correct that, 200,000 kilometers in diameter. Now then, this is what I want to talk about. Um, first of all, I am suspicious about Comet Elinin, okay? I am suspicious about it. I don't know how it's going to pan out. But we don't have long to find out because, you know, it'll be on its way out into space in like, what, November? Well, yeah, yeah, November. Okay, this year, so we don't have long to find out. But, this is what I want to talk about. This article is getting a lot of attention, okay, of the coma being... 200,000 kilometers in diameter. Now then, that is not an issue. Okay, now it's, there are, I'm looking at people out there on YouTube who are, forgive me for saying so, a bit of an embarrassment to the truth movement. And the reason being is that, now when I, okay, right, I'm learning as I go along, I am. And um, when I first looked at this, oh, oh, blimey, you know, wow, that's pretty amazing. So I checked it out, and um, comas do increase in size. Um, you need to know what a coma is, okay? They do increase in size as they move closer to a sun. Okay, now, um, I'm going to link you to some information on what a coma is. So you need to understand what a comet is. Now, this will be completely irrelevant if Comet Elinin is a com and it isn't a comet at all, which, like I said, I'm suspicious about it. But if we're talking about a comet here, it is absolutely neither here nor there that the coma is 200,000 kilometers wide. Okay? Now, first of all, when the comet is at its closest point to the Earth, it's going to be 0 0.34 astronomical units. So, now I'm using approximate figures here. So we're talking about, I think it's about 34 million miles. So the comet's going to come within 34 million miles of planet Earth. Now the coma, now let's define what a coma is first off, okay. There's like three parts of a comet. You've got the nucleus, okay, and this is why I think there's people getting all excited on YouTube about the coma because they think that the coma is the nucleus. It's not. The nucleus is the nucleus, it's the center, it's that, it's the main mass, you know, it's the rocky bits, the, the, the core, okay, of the uh, comet. So you've got the nucleus, you've got the coma, and then you've got the, what do you call it, the tail. Okay, so the coma is basically the atmosphere. Okay, it is the atmosphere of the comet, it's the gases, it's the dust, it's the gases, it's the uh, it's the um, it's, it's those kind of components. Okay, um, let me see here to be more precise. Okay. Right, the coma is the nebulous envelope around the nucleus of a comet. It is formed when the comet passes close to the sun on a highly elliptical orbit. As the comet warms, parts of it turn from solid to gas sublimit. Okay. Larger charged dust particles are left along the comet's orbital path while smaller charged particles are pushed away from the sun into the comet's tail by solar wind. This helps astronomers distinguish comets from stars because it creates a 
fuzzy appearance. Okay, so it's quite an informative link this, so I'll link you to it. Right, so if we're talking about a comet, it's neither here nor there, right? The coma is going to get bigger as it approaches the sun, and there's more uh, gases burned off and melted off from the, the nucleus, right? There are comets that have had even bigger comas than this. Um, so the coma is neither here nor there. Now, when I first looked at this, I thought, oh, cool, that's massive. I wonder if, like, the coma is going to envelop the Earth. Well, no, it's not, because it's, like, 34 million miles, and we're talking about a coma of 200,000 kilometres, so, of course, it's not. Because I wondered, well, maybe the gases will interfere with our chemical composition of our own atmosphere and maybe poison us or something, but no, that, that can't happen. So there's absolutely no issue with it whatsoever. The coma can increase several hundred thousand uh, more kilometers in diameter and it won't make any difference okay so um, when you see this news all right about the coma and about the size of it I think what people are doing is they're looking at this they're looking at the headline oh yes the coma 200,000 miles I'm thinking that the, they're thinking we're talking of a, a planetary object of some significant mass you know with a diameter that big you know because obviously, like that's far bigger than Earth, you know. Um, but we're talking about gases. We're not talking about iron, and nickel, and elements of, of mass. So it, so it, it's neither here nor there. All right. Now I'm not trying to debunk the whole comet Elenin ELE extinction level event yada 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 this video is not to debunk that because i am in two minds about the linen and um i as i said it is very suspicious it may not be a comet at all um or it may be a comet and there may be something follow well there is something following it there's information out there to suggest that there's a jupiter sized object following it you know and um well, something's following it. The Russians are saying it's intelligent and controlled. So, hey, who knows? Who knows? There, there is there is a hell of a lot of suspicion around Comet Elenin. So this is not to debunk those who are suspicious. Those of you who are suspicious about Elenin, I'm with you. I'm with you. It is very odd. Lots of odd circumstances around it. But time will tell. Um, we've not long to wait to see how it's all going to pan out. But I just wanted to discuss this whole issue of the linen's coma. Okay. Because people are jumping the gun and jumping to conclusions, assuming that the, this diameter thing is is like you know the diameter of a solid object it's, it's not okay and you know well yeah well that's it that's it that's basically it okay see ya